Okay, what's up guys? Uh, today I just wanted to give you a demonstration of the Windows 7 tablet, which I actually think is better than the Windows 8. And so I just want to show you why. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to show you what the Windows 8 preview is looking like. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Uh, what I really like uh, about this particular tablet is the way that on each side it has, um, you see on the right side I have all my programs. And if you swipe to the right, it gives you lots of different options. You can do that on basically any icon. And then on the left hand side, what I put is a, is a specific type of launcher so that I can put launches, shortcuts, and all sorts of stuff um, on that. So there's a lot of options there. The other thing that I like is that all the gestures are programmable on this particular tablet, which is a Samsung. Uh, it's a dual core, it's got four gigs of RAM, so it's very fast. I've even processed videos and uh, done some photography on it. So here's one that I use a lot, four finger touch. And so if I do the four finger touch, it brings up this menu where I can see all my programs and then I can just select one. Uh, if I do a two finger drag down, I can get to the desktop and I can drag it back up. So uh, I think it's pretty fast, it boots pretty good, and the, it just works very well. And the main thing that I like about this is the input method. So you can see it brings up this keyboard, but this is a swipe keyboard, which means that in order to write something, for example, let's say I wanted to write surprise, I would just swipe like that, and it would automatically put the word surprise on there. It's kind of blurry when I bring it up. So anyways, it has a swipe uh, as its input method, which is super fast. And I like to put the keyboard right here and I just swipe it all with my thumbs, which uh, is faster for me than my iPad. And so enjoying that. Anyways, I uh, just wanted to show you. Oh, another thing that I like about this one that Windows 8 doesn't seem to have is you can either click and hold to bring up a context menu or you can click and then tap on the other one and it brings up a context menu like that. So, uh, doesn't look like I was able to do it. There, so you just kind of double click, which is pretty handy and pretty quick. Uh, the other thing that you just saw there is this is a touch-based uh, style launcher. So it looks like a more touch-looking launcher. Uh, so it's very touch-friendly and there's also an app market and all this. So this is the Windows 7 tablet, which I think is pretty tweaked out. And when it's tweaked out right, uh, you got a lot of options on both sides and you've got a great input method and you can process and run normal Windows programs. This is the stylus that comes with it. And when you hold down the button on the stylus and click, um, it, will double, it will do the right click. So let me show you how that would work. touch launcher just crashed. So if I'm on the desktop, I can just click. And if I'm holding down that button, it will double click. So it's also, uh, what this has over the iPad as well is that the touch screen is pressure sensitive. So if I'm in a drawing app or any other app, it will actually recognize uh, the pressure and also recognize when I'm using my finger as opposed to when I'm using the stylus. So it knows and recognizes what uh, input method you're using and then knows how to react accordingly. Uh, with the case of it, you can just prop it up as a regular, as a regular desktop. And what I like to do actually is uh, in my own setup. Let me show you. So I will take it out of its case, and I will use it as an additional monitor by just propping it up over here. Actually, it comes with a little stand that charges it. So you can see now I have dual monitors. And with one mouse, it will actually go from one to the other. So it, I can just go from one screen to the other with this mouse. So you can see, you probably can't see, but see, you can see the mouse floating over there now. And then I can bring it back over to this screen as well. So it becomes kind of a dual CPU computer where I can use both monitors and I can copy and paste from both monitors. And it's, it's a little bit better for me than double screens because now uh, I've got two processors to use. So if I'm gonna do Skype or email on one, it doesn't use up the processing speed of my other machine. So very cool. All I gotta do is set up on a stand and automatically I've got dual screens. So really fantastic for, uh, for my mobile workplace. 
That's Windows 7. In the next video, we're going to review Windows 8, and uh, I think it's missing quite a few things, even though I like the, the Metro interface, but we're going to go over that uh, in the next video. Bye-bye.